Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish, and welcome back to another modding tutorial. Before we start this episode today, I just want to thank you guys for your support in the first two episodes. A lot of you guys said in the comments that these tutorials are easy to follow, and I'm glad that they are. I also want to note that the first two tutorials are probably the most boringest part of mod development. Uh, we're actually going to get into adding items into the game today, so a lot of you guys have um, wanted me to start doing this and we have to do those first two steps before we can um, get to this one. You gotta do the baby steps and yeah, <laughs> I don't know what the quote is. So let's not talk any longer and actually start adding an item in. So the first thing that you want to do is just add a couple of spaces in between um, this, the start of the class here and this first method down the bottom here so add some few spaces in between there and we first got to define a variable for our item so you want to type public static item and then lowercase i for the item there and then the name of your item so I'm just going to do table because I eventually want to show you how I create renders with that so public static item then lowercase i for the item there then put in the name of your item. Make sure there's no spaces in this as well and then end it off with a semicolon. And now that's our variable for the item. We've actually got to initialize it and as stated down here this is where item initialization goes. What you want to do is copy this item table or whatever you've called it. Um, just go and create a new line here, paste it in, then you want to do space, e space equals space new item table or the name of your item, then put a semicolon at the end, then highlight over item table and click this create class item table. And then just go ahead, press finish, doesn't really matter because it will automatically do it for you. And you'll notice that it takes you to a new tab over here so we can go back and forth in between the tabs now. And this is our item class and this is where we can put all our special code that we want an item to do so maybe you want the item to strike lightning maybe you want the item to spawn a mob maybe you want the item to place um, a block or multiple blocks to create a structure or something like that we can do this in the item class now we'll go back into the main mod class by clicking this up here and we're not completely done we've actually got to register the item into the game so go do a new line under um, this initialization bit here, do a new line and type in game registry dot register item down here. So if you just scroll down, we got this register item down there. Double click on that and then you want to put in item table. So you copy that, put it in at the first um, parameter there. And then for the name, what you want to do is simply um, we can type in actually. What you want to do is, is go back up to this line here and after those brackets there, do a dot and then you want to do set unlo un un unlocalized name, double click that and then you just want to put in item table or the name of your, the name of your item. And then down this bottom bit what we need to do is type in item table dot get unlocalized name so we're getting this string here but what we want to do is at the end of it do another dot and then you want to type sub string 5 and what this will do is it will actually cut off the first five characters of the string now it's this unlocalized name is not exactly this what this really is is item dot item table dot name that's what that actually is. So if we get unlocalized name, it will return that there. So we want to substring it. Um, actually, it's only this. My bad. It's only that. So if we substring it, we're actually getting rid of this item and that first dot there, and it just returns to that. Now that we've done that, we can actually start up the game, and the item will be loaded into the game. So let's go ahead, click the Run button up here. Make sure you save your mod class first as well. It's just really automatic for me just to click that save button and I keep forgetting to tell you guys to do that. Then just go into single player, create a new world and just change it to creative just so we can get um, or we can actually enter cheat codes in because we need to do that. 
Now we won't be able to get it out of the creative GUI just yet because we actually haven't added it. So what you want to do is type forge slash give and then space and then let's press, press tab once and that will give us our player name. Press space again and then type in your mod ID and mine is tutorial mod so you type TM and then two dot thingies, I forgot what they're called, it's on the same button as the semicolon and then press tab once and you'll notice that it gives you the name of the item so we got item table go ahead press enter and we've got our item table so that's basically it so far what we're going to do now is actually make it so the name of the item isn't that item dot item table dot name we can actually give it a proper name like that so it's just sandstone or oak leaves so close off your minecraft and to give your item a name what we've got to do is something a little bit different it used to be um, a lot easier back um, in the modding days but now since the 1.7 update has changed so you want to go over to this package explorer over here open up this resources one and you want to click uh, actually want to right click it and do new folder and then type in assets like that press finish right click on assets do new folder and type in lang actually not that you want to type in your mod ID, so mine is tutorial mod, type in your mod ID there, press finish, then right click on it again, new, and then we want to type in lang now, so type in lang, and right click it again, I know we're just doing this a lot of times, but you'll get the idea, and then click on um, untitled text file, and this is where we can actually set names to our items and blocks. So what you want to do is type in item dot and then you want to go back to here, copy that unlocalized name there, paste that in, then do another dot and then type name and then put an equal sign at the end. Now you can enter the name of your item. So I'm just going to call this table. So simply like that, item dot the name of your item from the unlocalized name there and then put dot name at the end equals table. Go ahead, press save, and what you need to do is click on here, click source down the bottom, click main, click resources, uh, wait, not Java, click resources, click assets, click TM, and then click on lang, and enter in here, en underscore us dot lang, exactly like that. Press OK. And then if we load up the game now, press run client, then go into your world, world, world. <laughs> you notice that the item is now named table. It's not all that weird unlocalized string. Now close off Minecraft and what we're going to do now is actually add a texture to the item. Now you want to get a photo editing software. I use paint.net but you can use Photoshop. Um, I don't recommend that you use Microsoft Paint at all because it doesn't support transparency or saving as a PNG, which you have to save as a PNG. So I recommend that you download paint.net. I'll put a link in the description for it, but this is a freeware, so it doesn't um, cost you anything at all. Um, same applies with Photoshop. You can probably, f if you have Photoshop, just use Photoshop. There's no point downloading paint.net. I just like it because it's faster. Uh, but what you want to do is create a new document and you want to put the size, the width and the height to 16 by 16 pixels. Press OK. Then zoom in. Delete the background so it's a transparent. And this is where you can design your item sprite. Now, uh, I'm just going to, mine's a table, so I'm going to design a table like thing. So um, I think we might just go across like that, like a bench top type thing. Actually, we'll make it a little bit thicker. I don't know. I'm just using basic um, paint.net colors. We'll have some legs coming down here. Nothing really fancy, it's just for tutorials. But you guys can spend a while working on this. Just pause the video, then come back once you've done. So there's my table. We've got a little um, support bit at the top here, some legs, and then some leg support on the side here. Now you want to go File, Save As, go to your desktop, then go into that folder that we created. Where is it? It's here somewhere, modding tutorials. Go into source, main, 
resources, assets, tm, then inside this tm folder, or the mod id folder that you've got, with the lang folder in it, just click new folder, and you're going to name this textures, new folder, items, and then go into the items folder, and down the bottom here for the file name, type in the name of your item, so item table. And make sure you save it as a PNG. Press save, and just press OK again. Make sure you have transparency setting on. Um, by default in paint.net it does have it on, so you don't have to worry about that. But if you're in Photoshop or something, make sure it is on. Now we can close off paint.net. We don't really need it anymore for now. Well, I don't need it. And what you want to do is, oh no, it's already added in. Doesn't matter. I thought we would have to refresh it. But now what we can do is run the Minecraft, actually, <laughs> stop running the Minecraft client. We actually haven't set the, the uh, texture name. So after the set unlocalized name, what you want to do is, after the brackets here, do dot set texture name. And make sure you follow this carefully. Inside of the brackets here, just delete that variable. Um, put two quotation marks, and what you want to do is put in your mod ID first, so mine is tutorial mod, then put two dots, and then the name of your item, so mine is item table. Now make sure this is the name of the f the um, the actual image file, so if you go into the package explorer over here, it's item table.png, just cut out the extension and put it into this bit here. Go ahead, press save, and if you run the Minecraft client now, our item texture should be applied to our item. It'd be awkward if it wasn't though. Would you look at that, our item now has the texture that we just designed. That's pretty cool. Look at that guys. So just a brief overview before we end off this episode today. So to start a new item, just simply just copy that and put it onto a new line, then just rename it so it could be like chair. Then what you need to do is copy that variable, put it down here, do this equals new item item whatever dot set unlocalized name, and then put your the name of your item. Then set the texture name, so tm or whatever your mod ID is dot dot the name of the image file in the resources over here. And then to finish off, you just need to register in game, so game registry registry, register the item, put in the variable from up here, and then put it in again, and then do get unlocalized name dot substring 5, close that off, and then to name your item, make sure that you do the same here, so item dot, and then the unlocalized name, then dot name, and then equals, and then make it equal the name that you want it to be. So hopefully you learned how to create an item in this episode today, and this is where you can actually start working by yourself. Now I want you guys to create five items into the game at least. Um, so you want to have at least five of these variables here. So you should end up with those that many variables there. Uh, but we're just going to delete them because um, this is tutorial purposes, not actually developing a mod. So add the items that you want to add into your game. And in the next episode, we're going to be working on blocks. And then after that, probably... Um, tools and stuff like that. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please remember to hit that like button. It really helps me out, keeps me motivated to do these tutorials, and lets me know that you guys are enjoying them. And I'll see you guys for the next episode. Bye!